So I was sent this article about a white supremacist who took ecstasy as part of a research study and basically stopped being racist. I'm a neuroscientist who studies MDMA and how it enhances empathy in the brain. So let's talk about this. MDMA is one of the only drugs known to man that creates this profound sense of love and connectedness with others. It's been described as an empathogen, meaning it increases empathy. Now empathy at its core is the process of stepping into someone else's shoes and appreciating what they're experiencing. Like when you see a dog living on the streets and you feel sad for it. A lot of people have empathy for dogs, but not everyone has empathy for other people. In general, people feel the most empathy for those who are like them, for example, the same race or the same religion. So racism is basically a condition where you have even less empathy for those who are unlike you. Now, here's this guy who takes MDMA, experiences increased empathy, and maybe for the first time in his life, he steps into the shoes of those who are different from him. Suddenly, he embodies their experience, and he steps back and says, wait a minute, what am I doing? So what's happening in the brain? Well, in my current research, we've basically pinpointed the brain system that's responsible for this. But I am so sorry to say, it's not yet published, so I can't really talk about it yet. When it comes out, I promise I will talk about it in great detail. Until then, please follow for more neuroscience and ask me any questions you have.